Hello, my name is uh, Jean-Philippe Thirion. I'm the CEO and co-founder of uh, Quantificare, a company specialized in medical imaging and 3D applications for clinical trials uh, and specialists. Uh, I have an academic background in uh, medical imaging, uh, namely uh, MRI, CT scan, uh, and all this has been applied to uh, the technologies that was developed in the company. So I will present uh, first uh, the development of the company, the challenges that we are addressing relative to uh, aesthetics, why 3D, and uh, a bit about uh, our technology. We are stemming from a French institute called INRIA, with uh, more than 3,000 researchers uh, in France, specialized in computer science, but with huge expertise in medical imaging. And uh, when we started the company 20 years ago, we directly applied it to clinical trials. So we have more than 20 years of experience in clinical trials. Uh, we have been the first company to uh, develop a data center for uh, digital photography in clinical trials. Uh, we have developed 3D systems since 2007. Uh, that enables us to have higher uh, standardization uh, of uh, image data uh, because when you have 3D you can really match things and measure uh, relative variations like volumes and things like that. And we are constantly innovating. Nowadays we are developing mobile solutions, for example, uh, to add on our systems. Relative to the uh, aesthetics, we have developed a full range of uh, products, 3D cameras and uh, software, in order to analyze, compare uh, patients over time and uh, also simulate uh, some surgical uh, intervention, which augments the uh, communication uh, between uh, specialists and patients, enabling the patient to project himself when it goes into the discussion about what type of procedure would be most suitable for, for that patient. We have uh, received awards for uh, our uh, technology. So the aim of our 3D system is really to get optimal uh, image quality to ensure reproducibility, whatever the position of the patient, thanks to 3D, we can always reposition and uh, do effective uh, simulation and quantification. We started uh, our 3D technology for wounds uh, and developed it in uh, all uh, the other domain uh, mentioned. Uh, and for wounds, uh, it's obvious that 3D enables to measure depths of wounds, volumes of wounds, evolution of the wounds over time. Uh, something that 2D cannot do because you have always, um, you cannot master the orientation in 2D and uh, you need really to have 3D system in order to have uh, uh, very accurate uh, 3D measurements. This is our whole range of products. So we have 2D systems, but mostly 3D systems for a uh, small uh, relief of the skin, face and also for uh, the body, uh, breast and uh, full uh, body tour uh, simulation. Relative to a body tour, uh, we have this system that enables to turn around uh, the subject and reconstruct the full 360 degrees reconstruction of the body, which offers a wide range of uh, measurements, possible measurements. We have also a system for face here, uh, before and after um, injection um, of, um, um, of a filler in lips, uh, and we can quantify very accurately uh, the uh, volume uh, variations in those patients. And all this technology, we have developed it worldwide uh, in order to um, distribute our systems uh, everywhere in, into the world directly or through um, a partnership with distributors. So let me introduce you now to uh, Dr. Sky Wang um, that will uh, provide you with more details about the application of our technology for body tightening uh, procedures. Thank you very much.
Hello, fellows and friends. I'm Dr. Sky Wong, a cosmetic surgeon from Hong Kong, and today I'm very glad that we'd like to share some of the wonderful topic with you all. Nowadays, we all know that the 3D imaging is very common in our industry, and the quality of it is a very important, especially in managing the expectation of the patient as well as the clinical documentation. So now we're talking about how to adopt a new next generation body assessment, especially in the context of the clinical application beyond just 3D imaging. For a high quality 3D system, we have seven important points. First of all, it has to be high resolution, accurate and powerful system. It is beyond doubt. And secondly, it has to be easy to use because it is not always a photo or image professionals inside your clinic or center. And uh, you may carry it from one room to another. So it has to be portable and compact that is very important practical points. Thirdly, the body assessment itself is very important. It's not only the 3D imaging. Fourthly, image are very important. It has to be presentable. Otherwise, it is not attractive enough. And uh, reality reproducible it is very important as a salient point of, for comparison. And uh, moreover, it has to be easy to manipulate some of the estimation and simulations of the image so as to manage and convince your patients and manage their expectations. And it is also very important in uh, projecting and documenting the clinical progress and um, comparisons and it can also be used in your sales, sales kits and also clinical studies. Last but not least, um, the system has to be very stable and with good technical support and then the whole quality 3D system will be a helpful tool for you. The systems that I'm using is the Quantificare. It has a very high resolution uh, system because it uses the Nikon SLR CCD system, which is of very low noise and reproducing power is high. And it has a very wonderful innovative inventions that um, it has a dual beam pointers guidance so that you can take the image uh, in a very consistent distance from the patient so that the comparisons and the uniqueness of the image can be reproduced from time to time. And this is also very accurate and automated uh, computer tracking system and teacher system. All of this system added together will allow you to just press and shoot with the help of some of the turnable tables and also tripod to reproduce a very professional imaging. And after installing the photo into your computer, just a jet and drop um, maneuver in a dummy interface, you can reproduce the wonderful imaging. This is good for the amateur and your administration staffs and also nurses and the manipulation is very quick and here is the body assessments it is beyond just 3d imaging of course it can produce a very good 3d imaging by regenerating the reality and suddenly the image is beautiful is presentable and data rich in which we have the volume that are uh, presented as the figure as well as the uh, color um, calibrations. We can measure the circumference of the body in different uh, levels and we can also even measure the skin analysis in terms of the pigment, the redness. We can also tackle a problem all together at once. Then it is the estimations and simulations well, because um, when the patient comes at the first time, the body condition may not be that optimal. Therefore, we need to have a good estimation and simulations of their future after our effective treatments. And then we can use the software to do the simulations, the estimations, in which we can go for a general 
uh, region or regional adjustment. Therefore, with this lifelike um, treatment stimulations, we can manage and convince the patient expectations. When it comes to the data library in which it is a very simple interface that uh, it is extensive and orderly arranged for your photo records. It's very important for technical support. Um, first of all, I have to say that um, you would never like to use technical support. Therefore, your system has to be stable. For a stable system, you have to have a very simple interface which the quantified care can provide to you, in which the Nikon system is a very reassuring brand and uh, it is very low prone to the damage so seldomly I have any problem so every time my problem can be solved in no time within a hour here is how I use this system for my practical applications I've taken a example in which this is a 37 male uh, the wage is not so bad, 69, but the percentage body fat and the visual fat is not that optimum. And he is having a waist circumference at um, 836 millimeter. And there is a problem of central fat accumulations, lot handles, the contour imperfections, and a lack of the muscle outline. And this is what we can. Uh, assess from the 3D systems perfectly presented on the right hand side of your slide. And then we'll go for the estimation and stimulations to let them know the expectation and comparisons before and estimated after uh, body conditions and determine the goal and formulate the plan for the patient. And this particular patient, we formulate the muscle training, both the active and passive, and regional lipolysis um, for the quad lipolysis and uh, RF thermal um, lipolysis. And then we will also adopt a 68 hour intermittent fasting. And that is a program, that's how you do it and utilize the uh, 3D system to explain your goal. And then you set up a smart goal in which uh, you have to achieve 60 kilogram with the improved fat content with the training up of the muscle to result in six pack and all the outline that the patient wants. And then we will do the um, program and treatment and monitor the progress. And you can see that for retrieving from the library, you can compare the two different um, uh, before and after image for the patient and they know that they are making a progress and achieving a very good result and they will be satisfied for your treatment and you will get the satisfactions and you will get the word of mouth and they will build up your business. And then we continue to compare the results by using different uh, assessment tools, for example, using the circumference, measure them in the multiple levels, which is very easy to manipulate and the accuracy is very high. And we can also measure the volume and the volume can be um, presented as a digital number or as a color calibrations in which will is more eye catchings and each C to understand. With the help of a silhouette overlapping image, you can immediately see the result is so amazing after the workout. And what's more is that you can use it everywhere in your body, including the armpits, including the buttocks, and even the face. And you can see that the comparisons of the chin reduction is very, very amazing. And uh, also the contour of the face is all improved. It's perfectly presented by this wonderful 3D photo. And so um, the applications can be very wide ranges. Uh, for example, the waist uh, reductions and body slimming that are presented to you to be used in the medical beauty center wellness center, gymnasium, can be used for the 
plastic surgeons like those using for the um, liposuction in the chin, body everywhere on your body, uh, the breast work and also the buttock lift etc. So what is the importance of getting a very good 3D image? The end result is that first of all, of course, the patient's expectations is being managed. You can simulate and estimate the projection of the future of the patient so that they can follow the, your, your program, your treatment to achieve that goal. And suddenly, the good system can provide you a very good objective assessment for clinical progress and comparisons, which is very important for the clinical documentation and presentation. And then it is both um, good for the patients and for the physicians yourself. Both of you will be very satisfied. I use is in the uh, my center, the Lasso Medical Center. And uh, if you do have anything that we would like to share, we have a platform of Aimer can actually have the circle of friends to exchange professional ideas about aesthetic medicine and integrative medicines together. Last but not least, if you would like to connect to me for further questions about the system and anything about aesthetic medicine, please do it through the Facebook, WeChat, or even the email. Thank you very much for your time and see you soon. So let me now introduce you to Professor Bonan uh, that will provide you with more information about the use of our technology for tightening and also pigmentation. Hello everyone. And, uh, before delving into the core of our presentation today, let me express my gratitude to the uh, Scientific Committee of the Congress and uh, my friend, Michael Gold, the president of the Congress. And uh, before we continue, I'd like to express my gratitude even and above all to Quantificare for having me today as a speaker and guest. The topic of today's agenda is a case study 3D application for hyperpigmentation and tightening treatment with Quantificare system. But first, we must consider with attention the two statements from uh, Rox Anderson thought is uh, the rationale is that if I don't do it, someone else will. There's a new scientific method in medicine today. This is completely wrong. We have to follow the scientific method of uh, evaluating the international literature to know the physics of our, la of our laser and other systems and to use uh, important systems to follow and document our clinical images. Today, one of the most important things to consider is the multispectral analysis that is uh, uh, provided by Quantificare. Uh, first of all, we need uh, the, for evidence-based aesthetic medicine an instrument. We need clinical recommendation based on skin conditions and even how to quantify results and better understanding of treatment and timing. There are more and more patients affected by aesthetic procedures and consequently, the number of specialists that can perform treatment is increasing. By definition, the aesthetic procedures uh, can be defined as a change in the appearance. This is very visual medicine where specialists showcase their techniques with uh, before and after results as some examples of what can be achieved the image should be the base of the consultation process to reach evidence-based medicine and be more transparent about the results and the treatment evolution. Patients are better informed and trustful. Well, an objective evalu evaluation of patient condition is necessary to recommend the right treatment. So the skin is irregular and it's challenging to assess its texture and all its aspects with the 3D skin care, you can get 3D analysis and several criteria. Wrinkles, pores, hyperpigmentation, vascularization, roughness, and sebum. And then this serves as a reference to start the treatment and make accurate recommendation. In aesthetics, most of the changes are very subtle and only a quantification of the results enable an evaluation of the treatment. 
How can we achieve these measurements? First step is to capture before and after image in a standardized way. Same distance, angle, lightning. This is possible in 3D and with the science of quantificare that enables a point by point matching to align two images ready for comparison. To obtain measurements, the photography systems need to be calibrated. The calibra calibration that indicates the real measurements enable any quantification from skin displacement to volume change in our contour assessment. Evaluate this, uh, the skin uh, tightening in the 3D. This is one of the examples. And assess surface displacement. You see the color indicators uh, assess the direction and distance of face lift, lift. And you can see the vectors in red uh, where you have the more tightening than the rest in yellow. The same in the second example. Well, we can even uh, evaluate the hyperpigmentation that can be visually assessed through a color map that highlights in dark and concentration of melanin. Now, let's move on to some of new uh, systems in the market. And uh, uh, we, we need to evaluate how we can follow and we can run in the diagnosis of the patient in the pre and post op uh, evaluation. The first is the CO2 laser. CO2 is a workhorse and uh, we have experience gained over 30 years of work. We can evaluate the technical development of this laser, but even as we have a lot of platform in the market with the new option and parameters that we can apply to use at its best the platform, we need to follow exactly uh, the results. In particular, you can have uh, three types of indications, rejuvenation, scars, and uh, uh, in the field of no melanoma cancer and the pre-cancer. Uh, so we have to follow exactly and depict the, the picture before and after the treatment. This is one of the cases with only one uh, treatment with the so-called uh, cool peeling that we can do uh, with uh, this kind of uh, laser or in, in, in the rejuvenation process or in, this, in the field of scars, this is a self-inflicted lesion with uh, uh, the results of bad scarring in the girl, you see before and after, and of course the support of the 3D photographic system from Quantificare that give us the important feedback uh, about the results. This is another case and be treated with uh, with a CO2 fraction of CO2 before and after with quantificare evaluation about the hemoglobin and the red color and the improvement related. The second uh, laser is Alexandride with Movio. is another uh, new system. Movio is characterized by a tip with a sapphire. You can cool down the skin during the treatment, in particular for the uh, pigmentation of the skin. You see the, the entire um, course of uh, the post-op uh, treatment from immediately after the treatment to the total improvement uh, after two weeks and three weeks. And you see the quantificare evaluation before and after the treatment. The third system is a really new in, in the market. It's called the Red Touch. It's a laser at uh, 675 nanometer uh, wavelength. This emission is this particular uh, optical window where we can find the collagen. So we have visible wrinkles improvement, reduces skin laxity and pore size, thicker skin, brighter skin from the first session and smoother skin color and appearance. You see the results before and after in the barcode that is very, very challenging to treat. In one case, a second case with the detail and even the pigmentation in the very, very difficult challenging skin that is uh, Asian skin. In this case, the passion is Japanese. And you see the support of uh, Quantificare. You see before and after and uh, the, the color with pigmentation and the improvement. The third is a multifunctional platform. 
is called Luxia that we use in our daily activity. In this case, we have a platform with a lot of end pieces and laser and intense pulse light. So we can develop and run with the combination treatment for any kind of uh, patient. In particular, I want to show you this uh, 85 years old uh, female with a lot of uh, skin cancer, scar, pre-cancer, uh, acne keratosis, uh, fine lines. And so the skin is uh, definitely with the sun uh, uh, damage. And we use a combination of airbion of the platform and CO2 fractional scanner. In this combination, we can follow the uh, post-op appearance you see immediately after and after one month. The combination of the two laser and the quantity care uh, contribution, you see the tightening of the upper leg. Again, an important result. Or in the cheek of this uh, patient, we have uh, an important result in the in the chin and the upper lip, and even in the uh, you see the cheek, the cheek, uh, the right and left cheek, with an you see the movement uh, of the pictures that allow us to to evaluate the the great and the terrific improvement that we have. The last one is the treatment for the body. So even with the body, we have a lot of important information from Quantificare. This is an important study that we published thanks to my team with Federica Colli and Michela Troiano. And you see the, uh, all the information that you can get uh, uh, from uh, Quantificare. Well, it has been a true pleasure and a privilege having the opportunity to share with you our therapeutic strategies we have devised in light of Quantificare's ongoing technological advancement. At a moment of difficulty of lockdown and uncertainty, our job is not only that of ensuring safety and patient satisfaction, but also to look forward to strive and make sure that tomorrow means improvement and thanks to that collaboration, constant feedback with the Quantificare staff, this has always been possible and I trust it will be. With this, I really thank you for your time and remember, out of fear, there is a beautiful sun. Thank you.